Nothing like bonding over trauma in a cave with the girl on Kirito's lap. Unfortunately, Shinon has erectile dysfunction. We go on Mushoku Tensei Season 2 Part 1 right now. She can't fire the gun no more. The trauma is back. Trigger. She can't do it no more. So how are we going to get over this? Um, By Kirito rising her up? I don't know. Pale Rider's done. Gunner X got off screen. It was Musketeer X. Sucks. Musketeer X had such a good, you know... Uh, good design, but it's like, what the fuck? Also, the episodes prior to that, Asuna kind of like went offline of ALO to do something. But I'm like, what the fuck are you really going to do, Asuna? She said she's going to contact the government worker. Maybe this is going to help Clutch later. And maybe I'm wrong, but it's just like, I don't know what Asuna's really up to. Maybe she's Death Gun and she hates Shino. No, it's not going to be that. Let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction. That's right. Death Gun has that Death Gun invisibility mantle. Oh, yeah, he chooses to push forward every day, cherishing things that's in his life. Exactly. He just continues to move forward. What the fuck? Yo. <laughs> you push forward too, like Kirito. Honestly, I think those motherfuckers deserve to die. Kirito should be like, <laughs> loser skill issue. The meaning of strength. What's the meaning of strength, guys? Oh, death gun! Who are you, bro? I still can't believe Shinone just sprawled like this on Kirito's lap. Like... <laughs> I understand that, like, she's traumatized, but, like, damn. That, that, do you do that in a therapist session? Well, it would be a lap pillow, but you would lay down on a couch and the other person would be on a chair. <laughs> you want to dox him? That's fucked up. That's fucked up, bro. Kirito is trying to dox a player in a game. Ban this guy, bro. This is fucked stalker behavior. I don't know if it's that he can't forget about SAO, but he can't forget about Kirito. Oh, yeah, I forgot about lightly salted Tarako. It's so chuny, it's so symbolic. It's like, the, like, what is he trying to run a cult? He does only take out super strong people. Oh, hello, cameraman. Hello. How does the heart attack happen? I still don't think that the bullet matters. But if the bullet doesn't matter, <clears throat> that implies that they're able to just like set off a heart attack at any time because they're connected to whatever uh, hardware they used to play GGO. Because like when he shot the TV screen, no, 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 that's bullshit. It's just symbolic. But he still died. That's a huge clue. I just don't get it. And when Pale Rider got shot, I don't think this mattered either. It's, it's just, what, what, what is this? I don't get it. Does it all relate back to that medical student kid? Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, brain's cooking. Instead of the pistol. He does only execute with the pistol, right? Wait. <laughs> Anyways. Uh... Something about the use of pistol and the sniper. Why did he not use it? And like, also, if it's so simple that you can just cause a heart attack by shooting someone with that pistol, then why does he always lead in with the paralyzing dart? Well, I guess to ensure that his next shot will be 100% so that he doesn't give away his position if he potentially missed. But I don't know. I feel like even that episode when Shinon got blindsided, he had like a free shot. <laughs> this is so unnecessary. To, to, like, like, if you're gonna, like, give me a scene of a girl handling her trauma and relating to the main character and have an emotional moment to bond, you cannot, at all times, be, like, scanning her body in the most, like, lewd, seductive way. Like, it just breaks immersion. Like, I understand, but god damn, bro. The author, it's not even the author, it's the, well, that, I don't know, maybe this is the light novel art, man. I don't know, it's the fucking anime direction. <laughs> that zoom he zoomed in! He zoomed in into the ass! You see that? He zoomed in into the ass crack! Missing a gun? 
もしかすると打たなかったんじゃなくて打てなかった The Black Star There's a Heart attack can only happen with the paralyzing dart? That's the only thing, right? Because what always happens? He paralyzes, then shoots. Is it so, so like the pistol, the heart attack? Maybe I'm focusing too much on the pistol and not enough on the paralyzing dart. It's the paralyzing dart that is actually causing it's the precursor to the heart attack, and the pistol is just symbol. I don't know! The order of operations, paralyzing dart, then pistol. Okay, but if you shoot them with a the paralyzing dart, then it is enough? What do you mean? You're right, Zexi didn't get hit by a paralyzing dart. That kind of refutes everything my assumption was. So, I mean, we do, I guess, have to dox them to get their actual body in order to do this. The governor's general one? Governor General's office meaning, but this is an American game. That's also in Japan. But the only other person that's related to the government is the dude that sent us. There's no way that the guy, our handler from the government is causing this, right? No, 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 no. Government General gets all the information. So, Kirito is protected because he didn't add in the details here. Because like this is a huge part, right? It's like, you cannot collect all your rewards if you don't put in your real ID. Kirito didn't do it, so he can't get the reward. But people are basically scraping the data here. When they register, they can fucking see it? Therefore, the people running this game? Hold well, up, we're getting closer though. If he's always invisible in town. Why? Why you gotta do this? Why you gotta... Listen, listen. Then again, Emerson Shadow does this too, actually. Whenever you do exposition, doing like fan service actually does make sense. It's just, whenever you're doing exposition and it's, it's like a heartfelt, you know, emotional bonding moment, then you show me the ass and it's just like, come on, man. But whenever it's like, quote unquote, boring exposition and you do fan service, I do see that meta a lot. Two tails, what about it? Two tails, what about it? Oh, but there's this gun. Medical student kid and death gun together are death gun. One, because like that kid, he's never really in game with us, right? He is in the lobby, but he never actually plays with us. So like death gun has the invisibility cloak and does the ID scraping. I don't fucking know. We get the address. We know where they live. And then, oh, the kid's already there. The kid's already there with the information, and whenever Death Gun does this, this is a sign. This is like, alright kid, do it. That's the execution, right? Because he always does this. And we're thinking, why does he do that? To like, create a cult? To like, appeal? But what about a do- it's, it's also broadcasted, right? So like, he should get the signal. Watching the tournament, Death Gun does this shit. He's like, alright, heart attack. What, what? Uh, uh, how does he cause the heart attack? That's the thing I don't get. Does he have some kind of like- tools to cause a heart attack i don't know but we're we're pretty much almost there i think that this theory is like 90 percent correct and we have 10 percent more to figure out how he actually caused the heart attack I, if he's already there and the signal is this then what this policy was so ridiculous this is like episode one or two where we're like all right what if his bullet transcends the game and like turns into fucking i don't know Whatever you would call this, I can traverse through different electrical circuits and then comes out and fucking shoots it down, bro. <laughs> Honestly, I was like, yo, that's crazy. Maybe? You can just break in. Exactly. All the people playing these games are fucking neat. They're, they live alone in single apartments. They're locked in the game. If someone broke in, no one would give a fuck. They're the perfect fucking candidates to get, you know, it's a, to get a hit on. Yep. I doubt. So Shinon is probably then the safest, right? Shinon is probably the safest because he has such a big crush on Shinon. I doubt that 
he would ever want to kill Shinon unless he realized that holy shit Fanboy Kirito is too much and Shinon is falling, they're fighting to kill Shinon. If I can't have Shinon, then no one can. I could see that kind of mentality. Some kind of drug. To find the real Kirito? This is probably like when you are into SAO. I think I understand this. This mentality of like when you're in SAO and everything is so raw, it's life or death, and you join a fucking guild where you're intentionally trying to kill people in games where they die in real life, you're probably so immersed. It's almost like addicting. You can't get out of that lifestyle anymore. So when SAO ended, they went to the real world. They realized, shit, I want to keep doing that again. I can't go back to society. So then they decided this is another way to kind of be like a red player. I think this makes sense. He identifies as a player killer. He can't escape it. Now, another good question is, then why the fuck is the medical student kid... Like, how does the medical student kid relate to Death Gun? Because Death Gun is from SAO, but what about the medical student kid? What about him would compel him to work with Death Gun like this? That is another thing that we don't know, right? So two things we don't know. I think we can't assume that they're working together, but it's like, how are they... How, what is causing the heart attacks? And why did he even join this death gun? That's like a very important thing. It's not like the other kid was laughing coughing, was it? Was he from SAO? I don't think there's enough information to ever even disclose if he did play SAO or not, right? We don't know anything. He is kind of insane. Other than that, what about his characteristics? They could be just IRL friends. True, they, it could be just a coincidence. It could be just IRL friends. I don't know. <laughs> It's the signal. Do it. Yeah. I thought he was watching the stream and doing it instead of setting a time to do that thing. <laughs> in, in, in the right context, right? This makes sense, but like, hey, you live alone? I mean, what do you mean? <laughs> but she don't could be in danger, right? Because it's like, yo, they could be broken in. Maybe. Fuck. Do you think that guy literally breaks into Shinon's place and like jacks off in front of her? Dude. Dude. I wouldn't pass I wouldn't put it beyond that guy. That guy's fucking insane. He's probably rubbing one out and as soon as Death Gun gives a shot, he's just gonna fucking shoot and shoot his lord at the same time. I don't care if the door is locked, he can fucking get in! Shinon's cooked. Fuck out, Shino! No! Ah uh, shit! You need to log the fuck out. Quit this game. Your life is in danger. For you to die. That is chilling to realize that like... He's just in my bedroom! The imagery. The symbolism. Yo! That is so creepy! <laughs> and he wears a mask too! <laughs> he's wrong. Okay, having a mask in game is different, right? You're in a video game, you wanna fucking, you know, have a cool look, aesthetics, that's cool. In real life, when you're about to, you know, kill a person, you're wearing a mask in real life, ain't no way, ain't no way. I, I, I think the point of the mask being on is to kind of like show that, yes, there are two death guns. It's not just cringe cosplay, but also some people probably can't make the connections of who you know, this guy pr could be like Shinon's quote unquote friend, right? The crush. So I think that by putting a mask on, it hides that extra level of, you know, layer of like the mystery that some people might not understand. It's Asna. <laughs> wait, wait, Asna left. Wait, 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 No, 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 there's no shot. This is Asna. But what if? Cause like, think about it. Asna did leave at the same time. <laughs> right? And like, have we seen Asna play this game yet? No. Asna is also the perfect candidate that could have been. Now, there's no shot, but all the things that Asna is doing, like, she has no alimony. She has no excuse, because, like, it just makes sense. She could be here. And the motivation, um, she, Kirito's cheating on Asna <laughs> to kill Chino. <laughs> it's Asna. Asna Zaza. Oh, it's an injection. To cause the heart attack. Who could save her right now?
Either Shinon wakes up, or maybe Asna could save her. Because, like, the government registry. Asna went to the government dude who has the address, government general. Maybe that guy does have Shinon's address. But then that, that, that means that Asna would have to understand the whole fucking mystery and why Shinon would be a target to them break in and save. I don't know. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? We just had an entire episode in the cave to fucking get her calmed down. Heart rate warning. Because they're waiting for the sign. He can't just kill uh, uh, Shinon right now. So at least until this happens, we bought some time. So it's, it's right. We can't just log out. Surprised that he'd be willing to kill Shinon like this. He probably realizes that it's over and Kirito is here. <laughs> as clever as Kirito is and as accurate as his guesses are, imagine that this is all just bullshit. Yeah, and like he's just like, <laughs> that should do it. Imagine he just lied about all that. He just like made her fucking get so scared to break her down. <laughs> no, he would never. But like, imagine he just said all that shit just to like break her down. Nah, you guys have to realize, class in the elite. Okay, Asna's back. Class in the elite character, they're all fucking sociopaths. Chris Hello? Government general. Uh, no, 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 government dude. I thought that Asna was going to his place in real life when she decided to get out. But like, she called him over in AL. <laughs> oh, that's kind of really funny to me. I thought they could have an IRL meeting, bro. What's up, Yui? You gathered all that information and... Bro, it's been like fucking 11 episodes. She's a fucking AI. Part-time child. That's our daughter. That's our AI daughter. Children should not be working. Glasses shine. Yep. Oh, they're talking about like the hardware involvement. Ballsteep. <laughs> Ballsteep is such a pitiful character sometimes, even though he's such a good character, bro. Klein needs a better role in this show, bro. Klein shouldn't be used like this, man. Ugh. At least he's in season two. Where the fuck is Eagle? Where the fuck is Tiffany? いえ。今も感じてるんでしょう。あのデスガンってプレイヤーは。クリスさん。デスガンは私たちと同じタレットキルド。ラフィンコフィンの元メンバーだわ。It's just when uh, us we understand the significance of laughing coffin and stuff but like to him he's like a fucking uh, real person government worker that doesn't really play games like this and asna's just like bringing up did you know that he's part of this guild until laughing coffin boom and he's be like oh, no. <laughs> I don't know, I can't. he probably is like what the fuck is a guild no way! I don't think we're supposed to know this Death Gun's character from Laughing Coffin because we never really saw any of their members. Yeah, he takes care of the SAO Fallout. SITF. Yeah, dox him. Dox that motherfucker! ストアップして今自宅から事業サーバーに接続しているか契約プロバイダーに紹介すれば。Yeah, it's like American, right? Cuz he's hanging out with Shinon all the time. 
Sugu having a moment? Oh my god, Sugu's getting a lot of dialogue right now. Holy shit. Wow, Sugu actually felt like an important character for a second. That would have been fun if Klein came with us, bro. But like, Klein always gets this role where he just kind of left behind. He wants to do good for Kirito, but Kirito's always just doing his thing. Then Klein gets mad, bro. Ball steep. This is his fate in every fucking season. What the fuck do you know about Kirito, Silica? We were on a fucking flower field one fucking episode, so resurrected your fucking dragon and left. You don't know shit. Look at the bitch talk like she was throughout the rest of SAO with us, man. <laughs> bitch, you fell in love with them after one sleepover in a fucking dragon's bathroom. She know, she know. Lizbeth is right about that. Kaede. Yo, Kaede is still alive. Let's go, Dine, yeah. Uh, Jack Reacher, yeah, we know that. That Pale Rider disconnection, as in, like, just dead, dead in real life. Can't read these names. Still no Zaza, though. I mean, we know that Zaza isn't really in this game, right? Yeah. There's no way... Unless the nurse is part of it? No. But, like... Is Kirito actually in danger? No, it's Shino that's in danger. Kirito is in, like, a high-security uh, hospital with the nurse there, too. There's no way Kirito will be in danger. <laughs> Could you imagine if the sexy nurse is death gun, dude? Holy shit. Multiple death guns. Not just one. There's multiple other death guns. Holy shit. What if we're not thinking straight? What if this, you know, is not a signal to one person, but like multiple people and there's multiple death guns with the injection ready? Sussy. Asuna is death gun. She's getting off again. What's she doing? She says she gotta go see Kirito. Maybe she's the one that's gonna kill Kirito, bro. Maybe she's the one that's gonna fucking put a heart attack on him because this motherfucker cheating on her while cheating on right now. <laughs> He's straight up just patting her head. He's straight up just doing this on her head right now. Holy shit. Shoot the gun, fight. <laughs> That dodge was insane. Alright. You got a partner. No, it's more than just a single action gun. It's the gun from your past though. Wow. Why wouldn't Asta not want to kill Kirito, bro? This cave scene, they're bonding so hard. Maybe bonding harder than Kirito and Asna ever has in SAO? And Shino will snipe. Oh, like a blind side. Oh. What was that? Oh. Yeah, he's got a silencer. What the fuck? Get off of me. You've been sitting on me this entire time. Oh, what the... Are the girls seeing this? Because the broadcast is there. Are, are the girls seeing this right now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It, it's a broadcast stream. Yo, she's sitting on you, bro. Only sound? Okay. Okay, we're muted, we're muted, we're muted. This isn't broadcast! This isn't sound only! Seeing this? Visuals! For <laughs> Cameraman just- that's crazy. Ca cameraman just did this. Ca cameraman did a fucking a boomerang, bro. Cameraman went to Shino's ass and then came back. That's a boomerang. Boom, boom. Yeah, we're- it's a Yuri moment right now, that's right. Shino the lesbian. Yeah, you catfish. And it's gone. Alright, that was a little fun moment. I'm 
Ooh, the soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. Sturban. Or Steven, actually. Sorry, it's Steven. Uh, Sturban means like death or something, right? Doesn't it mean like death? But I, I, I saw at the very last name here, and I saw two similar looking letters. It's not identical. But imagine it's like Zaza. Zaza. Nah, it's, 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 it's a separate character down here. It's got like a little tail at the very bottom. Is that the episode? Today was just cave yap? What does that look, you know? Did you fall in love? And that's the episode. I thought that we'd be out of the cave and just like doing shit today, but today was just like entirely cave yapping. But it was more than just cave yapping and chinon, you know, ass service. It was understanding who Death Gun could be and how he's doing the heart attacks. We were too focused on one single Death Gun. I said that there'd be multiple Death Guns, but not in the way that the show kind of reminded us today. I thought that there'd be multiple death guns in the game and each one holds the title death gun by wearing the mask. But in fact, there's multiple death guns and there's multiple people, there's potentially multiple, but um, most likely just Shinon's quote unquote friend that is outside that breaks into other people's houses because they can just dox and get that information. They live alone, right? And the heart attack is somehow done through a lethal injection and because they find the body so long after the time of death that the body has decomposed and the traces of whatever the injection is gone so that's how they've been getting away with it pretty insane this is actually not I, like if the explanation was like the electric circuit bullet where the bullet goes through it through the fucking circuits and it hits you that would have been bullshit but this explanation this is pretty good it's actually very realistic it is realistic and all the hints were there that's a beautiful thing right him doing this shooting it was just all there all the hints were there so i think this is a very clever and a um, pretty genius way to um incorporate the peaking aspect you know killing because right again all the sao survivors they still identify as whatever they were back in the past kirito identifies as a swordsman death gun used to be you know kill player killing so he needs to still live on that edge or else you know he just can't he, he just won't integrate back into society right so I, I think everything actually does make sense um unfortunately you know steven is not zaza maybe it's a different name i don't fucking know but we have believe one more episode because this is episode 11 and if the part two of season two is starting the next episode should be the quote-unquote finale but that's it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care